Good morning, everyone. We'll get, give everyone just a minute to kind of log in and get uh, and get situated here. We still got people coming in. So let's let's let, give it one minute, and we'll we'll kind of start with uh, giving you a, a quick intro and at least uh, one way to to provide better better quality care and uh, and at, at better cost in the healthcare world, which is uh, I know something we're all thinking about. Or we're one bad renewal away from thinking about it. <laughs> How about that? Unfortunately, yes. How about that? Okay, well, let's get started. My name is Doug hey, Blizzard. Uh, uh oh. Okay. My name is Doug Blizzard with Catapult. Uh, I'm happy to be here today and welcome you. Uh, Pat Patrick Wong is with me. He's my co-host over here, and 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 just excited to expose you to a concept that uh, that we at Catapult feel very strongly about. Uh, we actually, full disclosure, we are a co-owner of this Hero Health Initiative, and so our, it is the health plan that our employees are on here. We are now approaching our first year renewal, and we are very happy. Our costs are down uh, 18% through 10 months. Our employees are love the plan, and so it's just it's been it's been a very good, uh, a great journey for us. So, uh, Julie, you want to pull up the slides? We can kind of share your screen and, and kind of start here. And uh, as this is a Zoom call, so. Again, if you have questions, uh, uh, either just say, hey, I got a question or, or, or type your question in the chat down there, either one. We really want this to be a discussion and not a lecture. Um, uh, Patrick and I have heard ourselves do this speech many, many, many times, and we're kind of tired of hearing ourselves do this speech. So <laughs> we encourage you to please ask questions uh, as we go through it. We welcome the diversion. How about that? All right, let's go to the again. What Hero really is, and, and Patrick is the founder of Hero. He'll go introduce himself in a minute. Um, it really is a, the, a better way for his benefits. Uh, our our employees, you could call any of our any one of our fifty four employees on this plan, and they will tell you it's helped them get better care at lower cost to them and the company, uh, and it's given them and us more control of of kind of their health care journey, which many of them, myself included, would have said a year and a half ago that the insurance carrier is the one that is controlling the care that I get. And now it's, it's we really flip that paradigm upside down. So you know, the next slide here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit. And I'm going to shut up, let Patrick talk. He, he's the main, uh, the main feature. I, I'm like the warm up act here. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm on the front of the stage with, 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 with a very small stage here. And then, then we'll let the curtains down and Patrick will start. But really just give you a sense for our journey on this as an employer now. This is us as an employer. We were probably like many of you, we have 55 employees on the plan or so. You know, every two years or so, we're back in it. Like we need to change from Blue Cross to Cigna, from Cigna to Aetna, because we had we got a bad renewal. And so we kind of, that's that, that's that merry-go-round that Patrick talks about. And it really was frustrating. I mean, Bruce and I, Bruce Clark, our former CEO, we have been looking for three or four years, really beyond just our us as an employer, but also looking for, is there a better way out there? And at some point, I think Bruce and Patrick met in a McAllister's Deli somewhere and started a conversation around this health Rosetta concept, this kind of a nationwide concept that Patrick is, has basically taken that concept and implemented here in the HERO concept. So we got very intrigued by it uh, and, and over a couple of year journey, learning more about it. Uh, and now it's our health plan. So we we literally, uh, for us, the, the nice thing was it made really our three primary groups happy. It made our CFO happy. It made our HR VP happy. And it made our employees happy. And that's, that's, that's a rare thing in the health insurance world. Usually one, if not all those groups are unhappy. Uh, either the CFO is happy because you got a cheap plan, but everyone else hates it. Or it's the inverse. We've got a very rich plan and the CFO hates it. So it's a, we, we've found this kind of sweet spot where they're all happy. And, and again, I don't want to go into all the details um, for us, but basically what's made us happy is it starts with a PPO plan. So the employees get that security. This is not some narrow network deal. This is the, It starts with a PPO plan. And on top of that is where Hero sits. And so if you engage with Hero through, I mean, our nurse navigator, who our employees love the nurse navigator, we got 92% utilization of the nurse navigator. If you engage that resource, she can help you find uh, one of hundreds of the Hero direct contracts in their network. So, and when you go to one of those Hero contracts, basically as an employee, you pay nothing. So I go in for a knee surgery and instead of paying my typical deductible out of pocket, all that stuff, I end up paying nothing for the MRI, the surgery, 
And then after a copay, I, I get many, many physical therapy visits for, for just a copay. And so that's a very different experience than what people are used to. So again, and we, there's 19 categories or so of those types of things from surgeries, MRIs, second opinions, urgent cares, 300 generic drugs, um, gastro stuff, medical devices. There's, I can go on and on. There's a price slide at some point here. Point being, for the first time in my history of 24 years here, and we've tried everything over the years. We've tried incentives and discounts and little campaigns, this consumer driven stuff. It never really got employees' attention because their doctor and insurance carrier kind of, kind of ran the care. Uh, this has gotten their attention. So for the first time, the, the power of zero, as I think Patrick calls it, uh, zero cost with a better facility and a and the same or a better doctor has really gotten their attention. So that, that that's why we're we're happy. Um, uh, again, for us, the key takeaways I think were we kind of realized that we're just not going to get to here being fully insured or even when we were level funded, not, not getting level funded wise. That was that's a big thing for us. Again, most innovations we looked at were just people tweaking the financing model. Uh, you know, we were partnered for many years with a broker who told me, Doug, if you want to change healthcare, you got to address the claims cost. And this is the first model we've e or program we've ever seen that addresses the uh, actual claim cost as opposed to just playing around with the financing and whatnot or giving a discount. So again, I know it's too, too it sounds too good to be true. Um, this real secret sauce here is the direct contracts that are accessed through a nurse navigator. That's kind of the secret sauce here. And it's start, it's, 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 I mean, you're talking about sometimes these direct contracts are for half what we would have paid under Cigna or more sometimes. So that need, which would have been 55,000 is now 23,000. And I think the deal is the employer, since you're paying half what you would have paid, the employer gets to pay nothing. So again, there's much more to it than that. But that's been our experience. CFO's happy, he, pay, he, pay, he writes one check a month. It's the same check every month. His, and he knows that's always going to pay for the year. So he's happy. HRVP is happy because the employees are happy. Uh, and the employees are happy because they've gotten a, a much richer health plan that they've ever had. Uh, and their costs are down. In fact, for next year, we're not even going to raise our rates next year um, because of that. Now, think about that. And we've added a bit, we're going to add some more benefits. So it's just like, wow. Um, so that's, that's been our experience. Again, I think Patrick would tell you that it's been a similar experience at the other clients of Hero. Again, why? Because Hero directly attacks claims calls. So I'm going to stop there. If you want to go to the next slide, Julia, uh, I'm going I'm to turn it over to our to our um, headliner here, uh, Patrick, <laughs> Long, Patrick Long with Hero Health. Patrick, take it away. Well, I, I don't. That was great, Doug. As usual, I, I don't have a whole lot else to say. <laughs> but, uh, no, you did a great job, and and uh, thank you all for carving out a little time. Uh, everyone's so busy. Um, and we really appreciate you making time to to hear a little bit more about what we do, and it, and and what Doug Doug said is absolutely true. And I'm glad he shared his experience, and it, and and we've heard it from many others that um, it is a better way. Um, some folks, uh, you know, have been hypnotized by the uh, by the status quo for so long or stuck on the merry-go-round, there's a lot of different analogies um, that are you know, pretty vivid and changing horses every, every year or two, like Doug said, from you know, all the, what we call the bukas, Blue, United, Cigna, Aetna, and Humana. Uh, and, uh, and switching horses every year uh, keeps you on the merry-go-round, doesn't change much. And so what we did with Hero and, and the privilege I had of meeting uh, and working, collaborating with Bruce Clark several years ago, as Doug mentioned, and, and now Doug and his team um, at, at Catapult, was really um, designing a health plan for middle market companies by middle market companies. And what does that mean? Well, we talked to financial people, we talked to chief people officers, HR professionals, and we asked them, what do you want? And we put some of them here. I won't read them all, but but you know, what do you want if you designed a health plan? Um, it certainly wouldn't look like the plan most of y'all have today. You wouldn't design something to hide all your data and sell it to other people. You wouldn't design a plan where all doctors are all surgeons are created equal. They're not equal. Some doctors are phenomenal, top two percent. Some of them shouldn't have a knife in their hand but your PPO doesn't steer to quality. They steer to a building, a hospital. 
we don't do that. We, we, we only schedule you with the top doctor, whether it's a pediatrician or someone with a Band-Aid to a brain surgeon. Uh, we're going to get you to the best doctor. Um, you know, other things like, hey, if there's any savings at the end of the year, uh, should that money go back to Wall Street or should it stay in your checking account? With us, 100% of all savings stays in your checking account. You don't split it like level funded or with, when you're fully insured, the carrier keeps it all. We don't believe in that. So um, I, this deck will be available to y'all later to read all the details, but I just wanted you to know that we designed Hero with your input, with your peers' input. Um, may, Julia, if you could go to the next slide, please. And you know, when you compare the things that people really asked us about, like, hey, uh, Doug mentioned this as well, we want uh, a PPO, we want access to all the hospitals. We, we don't want to have a crazy plan like the RBP, the Wild West, or narrow networks where you, you can go there, but you can't go there. Or for those of y'all in Raleigh right now, you've probably heard if you're on United Health uh, plans, uh, all savers and United Healthcare, they don't, their contract, uh, they're, you know, like suing each other with, uh, wake med. They're, they're not going to accept each other. Um, you know, they might come to some resolution, but there's fights all the time between those networks and those big hospital systems. Um, and so, uh, we don't, we don't play those games with anybody. We have PPO access to all the all the hospitals underneath the plan. So if you choose not to call the nurse, you don't want to know about quality. You just don't want to talk to anybody. You just want to go see a, an expensive doctor and pay full freight. Then you have a right to do that with our plan. You can just show your card and pay three or four thousand dollars for an MRI. And that's your right. Uh, so you can go wherever you want to go. If you choose to call your nice nurse and get zero out-of-pocket options for PT and behavioral health and imaging and surgeries, uh, all of the above and many, many, many other things, then you pay zero if you choose the high-quality option. So that's what Hero is. It's, a, it's, it's pay zero when you call your nurse first. Um, we have contracts, like Doug mentioned, with sur surgical centers of excellence all over the country, not just, uh, you know, here uh, in, in North Carolina, uh, but all over the nation, we have direct contracts with them. Um, we give you all your data, um, but it's not just a dump of data through the fire hose. We make it actionable and understandable so that you can see what's coming in your plan. What do we have to prepare for if we have a lot of high A1C people in our company? Uh, diabetes, dialysis, hypertension. There's a lot of um, you know, strokes and heart attacks and bad things that come out of that. What can we do to, we have, we have clients that got this data for the first time and they took action. They're, they're doing a biggest loser contest and, and offering gift cards if you uh, do a blood panel and work one-on-one -on -one with a lifestyle coach about your diet and exercise, uh, all that kind of stuff. And they've seen real results. They're, they're reducing their future costs. And we go on and on, but with our plan, you can see the status quo plans are the current plans and how hero is a better way. Um, if you were designing a health plan, you would put a nurse at the front, not a 1-800 number, not Cigna.com or BlueCrossGut.com. If you've ever suffered on hold with our friends in Durham, uh, like I have, uh, you'd have a friendly pharmacist involved. You know, only 6% of your plans typically use the hospital every year, but 60% take drugs, right? Have prescriptions. And so uh, we found a real need was having a pharmacist on every plan. And I know Catapult has utilized their pharmacist, not quite as much as the nurse, but very frequently helping out members with meducation, as we call it, or getting drugs for far cheaper, or you know, we, we even import expensive drugs from Canada uh, at one third the price, all sorts of ways to help you save. We also offer um, you know, tons of zero out-of-pocket benefits and we'll, we'll do a slide on that in a minute. But your people save, but your plan also saves. Because of the strength of those direct contracts that Doug mentioned, uh, saving 30, 40, 60, 80 percent on some things, um, your plan is going to spend less while getting all these services. Okay, if you can do the next slide, please, Julia. And here's just some of them. We've mentioned a few, but uh, 
you know, this is a real tough time. I don't need to tell you what you already know that for, for the three R's we talked about, retention, recruiting, and reputation, um, when, you know, uh, lots of renewals are coming in at 10, 20, 30, we've seen 40% uh, from some, some folks out there. Um, and, uh, and so it's a real opportunity to transition to hero and pay less and get more. And you, you don't have to be embarrassed about your high deductible with Hero. So if you have a four thousand, five thousand, we're working with a group that has a six thousand dollar deductible right now. They don't have to be embarrassed about it because they can put in Hero, keep their plan, but put this in, and it rides right beside it. So it's still a six thousand dollar deductible if you go to the hospital um, and and don't call the nurse. But if you do call the nurse, you pay zero for better doctors and all this care and about, you know, many other things. Um, and so, uh, we keep your plan the same. We mirror your plan language and deductibles and copays, but then we add a column of zeros for high quality care at zero price. So that increases take home pay for your employees. That certainly increases your reputation, uh, with them and uh, in, improves retention and should help recruiting too. If you could go to the next slide, please. And, and this might have maybe should have gone in the front, but you know, how does Hero impact a plan? And, and again, Doug alluded to this a little bit, and this is just, uh, I took this out of one of our quotes, but uh, it's really important to understand this, that you think about every dollar like uh, that you spend in premium, where does it go? And typically, 10% uh, uh, or so for administration costs, like for your, your broker fees and for our fee and Teladoc fees and all that kind of stuff, fixed costs. And then about 15% or so for your insurance. Even if you have no claims, you're gonna purchase insurance and uh, and that's gonna be, you know, approximately, depends on the group and how big it is. and. In, in their claims history, but approximately 25% total is fixed cost, and you can't change that. But a lot of y'all get focused on that, like, gosh, my fixed costs are so high, but it's only 25 cents out of the dollar. 75 cents of every dollar is going to claims, and that's where you can make an impact. That's where you can really reduce your claims. And so if you only spend let's say on this example here, you spend 50% uh, instead of 76%, all that money is yours. You keep it. And sure, you paid your broker and you paid Hero and you paid teleservices and stuff, 10%, and you paid the insurance company their money, but you save whatever in that purple is reduced, is your money. And that's where the savings comes from. And uh, We can take a deeper dive and do a pro forma for you, you know, in a matter of minutes, but I wanted to give you a, a, a bigger picture kind of view of where do your premium dollars go because the status quo uh, you know, situation, they don't often share this with you. Where's all your money going and what can you do to save, you know, spend less, save more? Hey Patrick, can you, can you spend a minute kind of going through, so if you're going to kind of dissect Hero, kind of give them a snapshot. Here's the four parts, like the self-funding, the PPO, Hero, just to kind of get a sense from what... We have one question. What is? Is this a plan? Is this what is it? Yeah, yeah. So it, it is a plan. Inside of it, we're just transparent. Inside of Blue Cross, there are about forty companies, but they all say their Blue Cross is white labeled. They'll even sell risk to other companies, but but everyone thinks about it as just Blue Cross, just a big one organization, seamless. Uh, we're that way too. We're a plan. We sit on the shelf beside Cigna Level Funded or United All Savers or 27 different Blue Cross plans and all the rest. Um, so we compete with those folks, right? Uh, we work with your broker uh, to get you quotes just like they do. Uh, but we're very different after that, right? We're unbundled. We're transparent. Uh, we're not going to hide anything from you. Uh, so Doug was mentioning the four pillars. It's kind of here in a way, admin is your overhead, all of the vendor partners that are stitched together to make your plan really work well from the reporting to the broker to the all of those things that need to be communicated on a platform, we do that. And then you have your stop loss or your insurance, your risk cost, how much is that? Somebody has to buy your risk from, from uh, or through us. Uh, we're experts at that, right? So we show the insurance companies, 
hey, they're not going to be uh, laid back and reactionary anymore. They're going to be very proactive. We're going to go reduce claims. We're going to pay less for surgeries, less for MRIs, less for specialty drugs. So our cost for insurance needs to go down. And the insurance companies see our performance and say, yes, that's why um, you know, Catapult got a fractional, I can't even remember what your renewal is going to be, but uh, a point or two, not, not 17 or 15 like we see from other people, but under five. Um, it's because we're aggressively reducing the claims and the insurance companies like that, the risk buyers. And then the third part is really important because it's the fastest growing slice of the pie, and that's drugs. Uh, there's three tiers, generic, branded, and specialty, and all of them are going up. It's, you know, generics, just because you say generic doesn't mean it's cheap. Generic drugs are going up like three or four times inflation right now. But we have to have a strategy for each tier, and we do that and reduce your overall drug spend, starting with specialty drugs. If you have drugs like Humira or Enbrel or Skyrizi or Stellara on your plan, you need to talk to us because we can often get those for zero for you by aggressive prescription assistance. So the drug part of it is used to be 10% of your plan spend. Now it's 20, 30, I've seen 40 and 50% of plan dollars going to drugs. So it's the fastest growing category and we, we aggressively help you on the, on the drug spend. And then the last one is medical, and we've talked about it a little bit so far, but it's still going to be about 50 cents of every dollar you spend are going to go to, um, you know, our emergency rooms when you should be going to urgent care, right? That's an, another big one we, we help solve. Or, you know, as Doug said, you know, on the surgery bundles, um, getting a better doctor for 23000 instead of 53000 and just going to the hospital. Because a lot of you executives, you know somebody, you could call up a friend and say, who's the best doctor for a knee replacement or a spine surgery? And you could probably get some opinions and referrals. But your workers can't do that. Somebody in the factory or, or a teacher, they often don't have the referral network or the access that you do. And so they just go to the hospital and get their you know, spine or brain or knee or hip, whatever operated on. And oftentimes that doctor's not the best doctor and that facility's full of MERS and, and COVID and, and infectious diseases and the outcomes aren't great and the physical therapy didn't go well or there's readmissions and, and complications and all that kind of stuff that doesn't happen when you go to a center of excellence. Um, you know, uh, I was at a conference over the weekend and I got another tidbit, uh, you know, 40% of all spinal fusions are what? And I said, I don't know what. He said, corrections to mistakes made in a previous spinal fusion. You know, so you, you, know, you need to be careful and get second opinions on surgeries from top doctors. We use Mayo Clinic and MD Anderson and Johns Hopkins for second opinions. Because even around here in, in North Carolina with Novant and, and, and Atrium and Duke and UNC, really top-notch hospitals, you still need to get a second opinion to make sure that you're doing the right thing, uh, you know, always. And so we bake that into our plans as well uh, to help reduce costs. But those are the four pillars. That's where your money goes. Admin, insurance, drugs, and medical. And you have to have a, a strategy for all of them. And if you're just sending your money to Durham or to Cigna or wherever, you're not you're not getting visibility in all this and where all this money is going, and you're not reducing claims. And therefore, you're gonna pay more and more and more every year. So to give you kind of what our experience was, so we were, we were level funded with one of the carriers before. And so we, our broker basically pulled Hero in. And so we got kind of to our renewal process. We had two or three quotes. We had the, we had the, the level funded renewal quote. We had the Hero quote. And so again, Hero of course would be a, is a fully self-insured uh, option. And so what we saw was how, wow, you know, these quotes were very similar. Yeah. But yet on the hero side, we were able to save a lot of money. And so basically we, we said yes to hero. We, had, we became self-funded. We had to set both an individual stop loss amount, which for us is 35,000 and an overall amount, which is like 600,000 for us. Let's just say that, which means for our CFO, you're never going to pay more than 600 grand in a year for your client. He can budget for that and pay that whatever, which is, which is comforting for him. But we actually end up spending a lot less. So again, because of the fact that we're self-funded now, uh, we've got the PPO, we've got the HERO contracts, 
uh, that's the plan. The plan is that you're self-funded, then you've got the, the PPO, then you've got the hero contracts. That is the, that's hero. And it's, it's, for us, it's been, it's been eye-opening and for some of our employees, life-changing. Uh, you mentioned that the second opinions, we've had a few of those. It's, yeah. it's like, it can be life-changing when you realize that cancer diagnosis was actually incorrect. Yeah, no, we, we've got, uh, yeah, uh, stories about that, as you can imagine, um, you know, uh, when you involve a really smart, helpful human, like a nurse with 20 years experience and a farm, a doctor of pharmacy, he's not just a pharmacist, he's a doctor of pharmacy on every plan. Um, you get really good results. Uh, and that's, that's what we do. That's what we love to do is a, is proactively address you know, your health concerns on an individual basis daily. That's, that's where you get the results. You might want to go to the next slide, please, Julia. Uh, I won't talk about all these, but these are just examples of what Doug and I've already shared with you. Um, gosh, the status quo PPO, this slide's like two years old. It's much higher than 48,000 uh, for a knee or hip in North Carolina right now, um, you know but your member is going to typically pay out of pocket max on something like that your deductible and coinsurance and it could be north of five thousand dollars not many of your employees have five thousand dollars extra in their checking account right now right and so they go on payment plans and it's a it's a problem um it's a lot of stress added to a stressful period of time and then stressful for imaging and surgeries and recovery and pt and with Hero, it's zero. And we assure them that you're getting a top-ranked fellowship surgeon in a clean facility. You're, you're going you're gonna to be taken care of all the way through with your nurse coordinating the care, making sure your appointments are on time, whether you want physical therapy in your home, virtually, in, in the clinic. We have options for you. Uh, we make it real easy. Uh, hey, and you save, we, save a lot of money. One thing we experienced was, you didn't mention this, but a lot of employees just don't have the surgery. And then over yeah. time, whatever they have becomes worse, which means more money. And we actually had employees here. Or again, our costs are down 18% from last year, all right, from when we were level funded. Despite that, when we first went live, we had a few employees that had been waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, yeah. And they took advantage <laughs> of having a surgery. Even though we had surgeries, that's the point in this, that we, I'd really have a surgery now than wait until now you need to get three or four uh, vertebrae fused together and all kinds of things. Go ahead and yeah. have it done now. Yeah, that's true. And and the lowest hanging fruit, as we say, when we look at most plans, um, is the specialty drugs. If somebody said, "Hey, you know, where, where's you, where are you going to make the most impact? I need to. I need. I'm I'm interested in this. I'm head of HR. Or I'm the CFO, and I, I want to take this to my team. Tell me one more time, Patrick. Where are we going to make the big impact? I'd say specialty drugs would be first. It's the, it's the, it's the uh, shortest way to save money right off the bat. And, and then, the, then you get into chronic care, um, you know, surgeries, uh, orthopedic are easy to save money on because of all the, the length of time. But then uh, cardiometabolic, uh, it takes a little longer to help people with pre-diabetes and diabetics um, uh, get off of you know, to improve their care. It takes a little longer for that. But we work on all of them. And uh, it's just the impact comes quickly with the, with, the, um, with the specialty drugs. And if you could go to the next slide, please. And uh, just real quick here, um, how do we work? Uh, we have the nurse. Uh, that's not our nurse over there. I don't know. That's an internet picture, I guess. But, um, but uh, it, we take data very seriously. Everything we do is data driven. So we have the most robust predictive analytics pro, uh, platform. It combines all of your claims, history, uh, eligibility, your uh, prescriptions, all into an AI platform that uh, that serves up to the nurse something I can you can barely see it there, but member analytics, so we can see who is a cancer survivor, um, who's a diabetic, who's having surgery that week. Those are red bodies, and the nurse has got a care plan for each of them. And yellow bodies are people who need uh, navigation and education. Uh, maybe they need an MRI or physical therapy or they're switching doctors and they're asking for assistance uh, or, or we find and reach out to them to say, hey, uh, we just saw that you have an order for an MRI. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, can we help you? Uh, do you need any pain medications? Do you need any assistance 
Um, can we get you a zero out of pocket MRI in Charlotte or Greensboro or Raleigh or wherever you are? Uh, let us help you. And, uh, and then the green bodies just get monthly touches. We do a lot of engagement uh, with your broker um, to get uh, employees a monthly theme like May is um, uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, uh, April was um, Allergy uh, Month, and so it's a different theme every month to, to get your employees uh, smarter about uh, their health. And, and so, you know, we, we touch them monthly through uh, flyers and videos and Zooms and in-person meetings and refrigerator magnets and everything you can think of uh, to increase the uh, touch points so that we can meet your employees where they are comfortably and appropriately. And then we have the provider platform at their fingertips. Those are all the doctors in America ranked by volume, outcomes, complexity, affiliation, and loyalty. It's called a, vo a vocal score. Uh, we care mostly about volume and outcomes, and, and if they're a surgeon, do they do complex operations? But um, if they're a pediatrician, for instance, we care more about patient reviews. What do moms say? Um, if it's a brain surgeon, we care more about, do, are they the ones that, the, is that the doctor that's called in if it's a complex operation? That's the person we want. So we schedule you with the top doctor inside the building, not with anyone in the building. This is particularly important July 1st because do you know what happens on July 1st? All the new doctors are released into the hospital system. So all those med school um, you know, trainees and, and residents are now doctors. And so if you go to the hospital on July 1st, um, you're, you need to make sure you're seeing a doctor that has more than one day experience. Um, so we only schedule you with the knee doctor that's done 5,000 knees, not five. You know, like uh, your status quo plan treats them all equally and they're not equal. Doctors vary just like everyone else. And it's all done through personal service with a nurse and a pharmacist. And so all this data is at their fingertips and helps get your people to the right place at the right time, but it's all personal service. So we call it the most proactive plan ever. and. Um, we're continually to, uh, we continually improve if we find a new um, service that's out there, we test it and we'll add it to the program. And uh, next slide, we're almost finished, I think, yeah. So the last point here is we want to make it easy on you. You know, we, we want you to understand that Hero is different, um, but, uh, you know, we sit on the shelf or but your broker might come and say, here's your... Cigna quote, here's your Aetna quote, here's your Blue Cross quote, and here's Hero. And the numbers, like Doug said, will look very much the same. Except at the end of the year, you keep all the savings with Hero. You don't share them with anybody. And your, your price of insurance will go down, and your quality of care will go up, and your control of data will go up. And we think and we know that your uh, reputation, retention, and recruiting will all improve as well. But we start just like every other plan. We gather your information like your census and whatnot, your plan summary, um, your uh, trend, what are your renewal rates, and, and then we shop stop loss. Uh, that's what we do. We have captives and non-captives and stop loss partners who know what we're doing and give us good pricing. And, and then, like Doug said, um, you write one check a month for the same amount. So basically, if you're paying $100,000 a month to Cigna right now, you're going to pay about $100,000 a month to our TPA in the future. And if you have a really bad month, like a preemie baby or a cancer or something, God forbid, really expensive, you still only pay the $100,000 a month. You don't pay the, the difference. So your insurance company covers you on everything above $100,000. In, in that scenario, it's great. Uh, at the end of the year, if there's $200,000 left in your account, that's your money, and you don't pay for January and February next year. Uh, or you can get it back in a dividend. But you still pay very simply one check a month, and our partner TPA pays all your claims and all the admin people and all the insurance. So it's very straightforward. So that was a quick run through. Uh, maybe there's one more slide, but we might be finished there. Oh, frequently asked questions. I'll, we'll, uh, Julia will send this out to you, but people often ask, uh, this sounds great. Can we keep our broker? Yeah, we work with brokers as long as they'll sign a transparency pledge, which is really simple. It just says, 
they're not going to accept any money of any kind from any other third parties. They're going to be totally transparent with you and, and only get paid by you and have no kickbacks or anything. Um, most brokers will agree to that. Some of them slink out to the back of the room, but some most of them stay. And then people ask about disruption. If we switch from our plan, just like Doug alluded to, what happens um, to our access to hospitals and our current doctors is that you know we, we use a PPO for that. And so if somebody doesn't wanna use the nurse or doesn't like uh, our contracts or, or doesn't like the higher quality offering, uh, they can still go to the hospital and they just pay what they were paying last year. So. And we work really, really well on engagement. Doug mentioned 90 something percent. Uh, we see that, uh, not numbers that high on every plan, but we see engagement soars after people switch to Hero because there's a lot of pent up, um, uh, pent up uh, eagerness to get healthcare information from a nurse, not a website or a pharmacist, not, you know, expressscripts.com, you know, and so, uh, we see a lot of engagement. There's a lot of need for information, education, and navigation to better care. And that's what we do. We provide all, all of that um, appropriately with your members. So how are we doing on time? Is that that pretty 1035? So um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, uh, we're always available. We do one-on-one -on -one Zooms. We have brochures and videos and all sorts of things to help you understand um, you know, how you can improve your plan, whether you do it with us or not. Uh, that's what we love about Catapult is they're first and foremost interested in education and helping you guys make decisions, meet you where you are, and we buy into that 100%. So if we can help you in any way, um, we wanna do it, you just have to ask. Or you can ask Doug or Julia and they can get you the answers that you need about your plan. Um, but if you are interested in hearing more about what Hero does, you can just text us here and, uh, or email us and we can uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you um, at your convenience. So. Questions, questions anyone? Comments, concerns, things that didn't make sense? <laughs> we covered a lot of ground, I know. This is your chance. This is a shyer group, okay. Actually, I do have a question. Sure. We have employees in 15 different states, mostly yeah. in North Carolina and Massachusetts, but we're all over the place. So how does your networks work within other states? Yeah, that's a great question. And one we get, uh, as you can imagine, frequently, especially with groups that have, you know, when you go over 100 employees, there's no solid number. Um, there, there's a lot more groups that are out of state. And so what we do is the same thing nationally. We have more direct contracts in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee than we do elsewhere, but we have them all over the country. Uh, so we have like 2,300 imaging centers, 1,400 surgery centers of excellence. We've got PT nationally. Of course, pharmacy works nationally, but we, have, we just have more contracts in, in the mid-Atlantic than we do in Massachusetts. But um, but these are they're national um, you know uh, national access. So we would use a different PPO maybe in, in Massachusetts that has it would be Aetna's First Health I think up there or Cigna as the underlying PPO, and then we would still use the same nurse that the whole company uses, same pharmacist. Um, so you would have that continuity of care, and then they would steer to partners in <clears throat> in that geographic area if that makes sense. The other thing we've done here is we've had we've had some of our employees here in North Carolina that live like in the stick somewhere, and they've asked Hero, hey, can you add my doctor or this practice or this yeah. fourth other group to? And yeah, Hero goes and gets a direct contract with them. Can't guarantee every everyone will do it, but but most do. Yes, and you also have members, I think, in Kansas City yeah. and Chicago and Maine. Employees, um, so we'll, Patrick, not members, employees. Employees, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, sorry about that. I, I get in trouble for that. But um, but yes. Yeah, so but you're talking about it. Uh, Carlene's talking about it more at scale, um, which makes it even easier to get direct contracts. Um, so yeah, Carlene. Hopefully that answers your question. We work nationally. Um, there 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 may be more uh, zero out of pocket options available in certain parts of the country than others, but. 
they're everywhere. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're a national uh, accepted everywhere plan in all 50 states. Excellent. I do actually have one more question. With respect sure. to your specialty drug program, we are currently contracted with um, Payer Matrix. Payer Matrix creates a contract with the manufacturers and it's a direct relationship. So certain employees with certain medications can get a drug directly from the manufacturer at a zero copay. We just pay a 30% admin fee. Is that how your specialty program is built? No, that's very, that, that can be very costly to your plan. Um, what we do differently is that would be a backup option for us, uh, Carlene. So all of the manufacturers have what's called prescription assistance programs or sometimes manufacturer assistance programs where if your employee is making, say, six times less or less than six times the federal poverty level in your state. So North Carolina is about twenty one thousand dollars for a family of four. So if your employee is making less than one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, they qualify for most prescription assistance programs. And so we aggressively do those first. That gets the drug down to zero for the plan and the and the employee instead of a discount like direct from say abby v who you know the most successful drug and most costly drug to middle market companies in america in, in our history is humira right and it's it's average is about seventy five thousand dollars a year now um, we work very uh, closely with with abby v the manufacturer to get that drug to zero and super successful if the employee is making less than $125,000. If they're making more than that, we can often get it for 50% off. But the employee has to help us, and the, and the incentive is they're gonna pay zero. Um, they'll pay nothing out of pocket for that drug if they fill out some paperwork with us. So we do that aggressively with every drug over $1,500 a month. And we do it now with drugs between $100 and $1,500 a month with, uh, with another partner um, that advocates the same approach, getting assistance for drugs that cost, say, $2,000 a year instead of 200000 We have a program for that as well. Uh, and then our generics are zero out of pocket at 14,000 locations across the country, including all Harris Teeters and Kroger pharmacies and 12,000 independent pharmacies for generics are all zero out of pocket. So we, we, we tier it that way and, and aggressively go after all three tiers. Specialty drugs is particularly important to save the plan money in addition to the employee. But that's a great question, thank you. Other questions? All right. It means we did a great job. Or did a <laughs> it was either zero or hero, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go with we, we just did a great job and answer all your questions <laughs> about that. Again, think about this, roommate uh, roommate over this, get your broker involved. Uh, we already work with many brokers. Um, it, it, this concept is getting much more known out there than it was a year ago. And so happy to have that next conversation with either you or your broker. Again, Julie will follow up with the slides and, and again, just reach out if we if either of us can help you kind of think through. Uh, happy to meet with you, with your executive team, whoever you want to meet with your broker to, uh, you know, just to, to, to shed more light on this. I had a call back right before this meeting for 30 minutes with a, a large employer and they're like, oh, we want to get you in front, of, uh, in front of our broker probably. So same kind of thing. Happy to do that. Yeah. But hey, have a great day. Uh, Patrick, as always, thank you for all the information. Uh, have a great day, a great, I guess, a great holiday weekend. Uh, yeah. Stay safe and uh, look forward to talking to you later. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Take care.